Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. Uh, this is for my CDA 3100 class, Computer Organization. And what we're going to do today, or right now, is we're going to kind of demonstrate how the MIPS architecture does division um, and the steps that it has to go through. It is not easy. Now, before you do this, make sure that you've reviewed how to do binary arithmetic and, in particular, how to do two's complement. That's very important that you know how to do that. All right, well, let's start off. Well, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the numbers that we're going to uh, do division by, and we're actually going to divide 3 into 13. Now, if you remember your mathematics from grade school, you should know that uh, 3 goes into 13 uh, four times with a remainder of 1. So we're looking for the answers of 4 and 1 as a remainder. So it'll be 4 and 1 down here. Hopefully when we get done that's what we'll uh, uh, that's what we'll see. Alright, well let's go ahead and do that. Well now to do this um, unlike multiplication we left just to buy the divisor inside of this uh, two register area right here. You know, we're working with a four bit machine right here. 32 bits is too much. And we load the numerator in the remainder field. So we're going to put the number 13 over here in binary. And that's the number 13 right here. Well, the first thing we do is step here right here is we take the remainder and we subtract the uh, divisor uh, from it. And that involves us uh, taking the remainder right here and then uh, taking the divisor and uh, doing two's complement on it and uh, uh, adding that to the, uh, to the uh, uh, remainder. And that's how you do division. All right, well, <clears throat> let me put a sheet over here. And uh, again, it's always good to have a spare sheet of paper to do. Let's, uh, let's look at that. So we're going to take the divisor. We're going to do two's complement, which if you remember right, is to reverse all the bits and then add one. We can take some shortcuts. I know from having done this a number of times that uh, this is just going to be all zeros. And then one will come right there. Okay, and that's the resulting number right here. So we'll put this uh, number right here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> number right here, four, and then add one to it, and then we're just, all right, so this is the answer. This is the remainder minus the divisor, so we're going to put that, transfer that number up here, one, and then one, one, zero, one. Okay. Now the question here is, if uh, the remainder is greater than zero, then um, uh, shift logical left the quotient, and then the uh, Q0, we add one to uh, shift left, and then put the a one in the rightmost bit. If the remainder is less than zero, then we just ignore everything and then just do the shift. So what we do is we restore the remainder to what it was in the previous step, which is 1101. Okay, and uh, we uh, uh, shift the quotient left and put a zero right there, and then we shift the divisor right. So zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero. All right. So now then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to take the uh, remainder and subtract the divisor from it. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to bore you with actually doing the uh, exercises uh, uh, <laughs> over and over again. I'll just go ahead and put the uh, uh, the answer right here is uh, one 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 zero one zero one is the answer. Okay, uh, it is <clears throat> it is uh, less than zero, so I restore it to where it was. Okay, and um, I uh, uh, shift the divisor uh, quotient left and put a zero right there, and then I shift the divisor right. Four, one, one, zero, zero. Okay. All right. Now then, 
I'm going to go ahead and do this arithmetic right here, and I'll, I'll do it with pencil right here so you can see it. Uh, again, what I want to do is take the remainder, which is 3 fours, 1, 1, 0, 1, and then I want to take this number, then I'll take another piece of paper, and I'll do it separately, 4, okay, 1, 1, 0, 0, do a 2's complement of it, okay, add 1, okay, And then I'll add this right here to it. Two, three, four, one, okay. One, zero, zero, one, zero. And then the one gets thrown off. So the number right here that goes right here <coughs> is, okay, zero, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Okay, is, okay, now, uh, if the remainder is greater than or equal to zero, uh, it is, okay, then I shift the quotient left, and I put a one right there, all right, and then what I do is uh, I shift the divisor right, four, zero, one, one, zero, and, of course, I leave the remainder alone. The remainder gets left uh, exactly where it was. So I don't uh, I don't change it. Okay. Now then, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to uh, do the uh, division right here of the remainder, and uh, I'll tell you that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that actually turns out to be on this step is uh, uh, one 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 one. Okay. That's uh, one. Zero one one. It is uh, less than. Uh, it is less than four. Or less than zero. So I shift the, this left and put a zero right there. Okay. And I shift the divisor right. Three, four. Pumpkin. Okay. Very good. And I bring the remainder down to where it was. I restore it to what it was before. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, one last time. Okay. I'm going to do this remainder again. That answer turns out to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, zero. Okay. It is less than zero, so I uh, shift the remainder left and add a zero to the right. Okay. Uh, the remainder gets restored to what it was. Okay. And then I just Shift the divisor right, or bring everything down. Okay, so what is the answer? Well, it says the quotient should be 4. That is indeed a binary 4, and the remainder should be 1, and the remainder should be 1. And that is how you do um, division in MIPS architecture. Not very easy. The hard part, I will tell you, is this step right here is making sure that you do the division properly. Making sure that the divisor is turned into a two's complement and then add it to the remainder. And then make sure that you check the left sign bit to make sure if it's positive or negative and then performing the appropriate steps. Hope this helps you. Um, look forward to doing the next one. Play this one over as many times as you need to. Have a good day.